Christy Hughes and I'm coming to you with another daily intention. I'm going to film a few today. I've got a little bit of a scratchy throat. I don't know, allergies or something going on. It is the heat of summer in Central Texas. Lots of grasses. I've been traveling some. Definitely not getting sick, but just dealing with a little bit of, I don't know, a little frog in my throat or something. Maybe it's a little sultry, but today's word is spark. And what I wrote on Instagram in 2019 in my first year of sobriety about the idea of Spark was that we have a betta fish named Sparky, named for his beautiful orange color. I bought him at the farmer's market as part of a hydroponics system. In theory, his waste would feed the plants at the top of the jar. He has far outlived any herb I've tried to plant, so now he is simply a pet fish in a jar. I applaud his efforts to make plant food, but I think the lighting in the kitchen just wasn't right. This really has nothing to do with my thoughts about today other than this morning's feeding, sparking my creativity. When I consider the word spark, I think about a jump start, a catalyst for change, you can spark an idea, spark imagination, or even spark anger or negativity. One definition is to set in motion or activate. Like it or not, sometimes Mondays can set the tone for the week. Think about spark as a verb and be the catalyst for positive change. Fill the day with spark. And I love that idea of sparking creativity, sparking an idea that turns into change. I've been, I've had a lot going on in my life lately, not all great things, but I still have all these ideas going through my head about what I want to do to continue to help and serve others. And there are all kinds of ideas floating into my head. And so I just have to take one of those little sparks and maybe blow on it and create this ember that then turns into a fire that turns into you know fire for change, whatever that might be. I presented to a group of women on boundaries a few weeks ago and a friend of mine who sat in on the lecture sent me an, a picture of the notes that she took that day. So it was so exciting to see what really sparked her um, ideas around boundaries and it really lit a fire in me around wanting to speak to more and more women about boundaries, how to set boundaries in their lives, how to say no to things so that it says yes to opening up new ideas or new ways of being. So that's really what's got me lit up right now and sparked my um, commitment to public speaking was just seeing the notes that my friend took and how much that talk impacted her. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to be bringing these videos for another 75 words or so. Uh, so when we come to fruition at the 200 day challenge mark of 200, day, 200 words that we've covered together, then I'll just start a little free flow on whatever is on my mind and I look forward to connecting with you in that way too. So please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a daily intention as we finish out this journey together and I look forward to seeing you again soon.